Uh, Miami gets a win, 31-30 to over NC State. And this was strange. Miami's postgame win expectancy in a one-point win was 96%. So you, you look at the numbers. You look at the stats. Total yards, 421-420. to uh, there's, there's nothing that I can take from this other than, like, there were no turnovers. And Miami, for the most part in this game, kind of just looked like the better team which we have not seen. They didn't make a ton of mistakes. Yep. They didn't kill themselves. I I was shocked at this, and I'm, I'm a little happy for Manny Diaz because he has been up against it, and they have gone with their youth movement, and, and they have found a way. Tyler Van Dyke, by the way, 25 out of 33 passing, 325 yards, four touchdowns. For whatever reason, like this is what NC State is known for. They go on the road even against not good teams, and they cannot get it done for whatever reason. Do you, you got any thoughts on this one? This was kind of a, a later later ball game. Well, no, I mean, it was. I, I enjoyed this game, and I watched a lot of it. And it, I just, I don't know. I just think the Wolfpack are a really good football team that, that you know, if they don't bring their best game, somebody else is going to, and you're going to get beat. That's what happened. NC State. I lost this one. I had NC State big, and and, and it didn't work. Yeah. No, we uh, we both had them minus three and a half on, uh, on the pick em show. You know, Miami did. They got a little lucky with uh, with some fumble luck because they they fumbled the ball three times and never turned it over. They recovered every one of them. But overall, like it, Miami, like didn't overly impress defensively. Uh, but their offense, man, that Tyler Van Dyke kid is legit. Like I don't even if Derek King comes back for another season, I don't know that you move away from this kid. Like he is, he's awesome. He's awesome. Charleston Rambo, by the way, nine receptions, one hundred twenty seven yards, two touchdowns. He was he was a dude last night. Uh, but there was nothing over on uh, NC State side that led you to believe that they should have won this won this ball game. So I guess it makes sense that they lost it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.